Today's reading is from Acts 6, 1 through 15. Now during those days when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists had complained against the Hebrews because their windows were being neglected and in the daily distribution of food. And the, and the twelve called together the whole community and the disciples and said, It's not right that we should neglect the world of God the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven men of God standing full of their spirit and of wisdom whom we may appoint to this task. Well, we, for our parts, we devote ourselves to, said, please, the whole community. And, the, and they chose Stephen a man full of faith and, ho- and the Holy Spirit, together the Philip Forkress, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Adior. They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued and spread the number of disciples increasing greatly in Jerusalem and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. So Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and sighs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue the synagogue of the freedmen, it, as it was called, Cyrenius, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia in Asia stood up and argued with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with, with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up a false witness who made this man never stop saying things against the holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the costumes that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. What may God be saying to you in this reading?